Hey guys, this is IX Roll at IX with Rollout Reviews, continuing with my summer 2015 set, Let's Builds. Today we are building Skull Slicer. And uh yeah, he's a, he's another he's another spooky one. He's another spooky looking dude with four arms and a thing. All right. So uh yeah, there's Lee was mask and he's Yamagich. Yeah, he's trying to get his mask back. And uh, on the back here, you got a little comic. Lee was rushing into things. He gets his mask snatched. And then, ooga booga booga booga. He's running towards you. It seems kind of crazy. From the little uh, segment <laughs> the, of the, uh, the animations we've seen so far, it looks like Slicer has this like maniacal laugh and it's hilarious I absolutely love it um, seems weird to me though because like from what we know about the story so far he's some like fallen hero of some kind I don't know he's he used to be a like a glatorial star back in ancient times and now he's resurrected and the lieutenant of skull grinder apparently so I don't know I guess we'll find out when uh, the book finally comes out. Like, there was that um, preview for the first book on Amazon, and I read my own little preview there, and uh, yeah, looks pretty good, actually. Can't wait for that, but even more so, I can't wait for the second book, because that seems like there's, there's going to be more story info going on there. Anyway... Here, here are all the bags. Pretty standard fare. Here are the instructions. Same sort of comment there. Comment, comic. And nothing really new and special. So, let's get right into building it. Forgive me if there's not a whole lot I have to say, because, I don't know, these videos are very casual, and it's basically just me wanting to build a thing, and that's it. That's the only excuse I have for making these, these videos, so, uh, I don't know. I guess I don't strive to please, but, uh, I do my best. So. There you go, you got, you got some more of those swords that I mentioned and showed off in the Skull Warrior video. Unfortunately, there isn't any like special mask for this guy. He's just got a Skull Spider mask. And I guess that means he's being controlled by Lord of Skull Spiders? Uh, I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Here's the uh, Liwa mask, which is very green. Um... And you got a little bit of gold. It seems like there was more, more gold on the Kopaka mask than there was on this one, but uh, I don't know. I don't know what that means. That's probably just coincidence. I don't think that has any story relevance, but whatever. The One of the segments I read from my, uh, my book preview on Amazon was uh, Skull Slicer versus all of the other Toa, and like Lee was completely incapacitated. So, ah, poor Liwa. First he gets... Controlled with an infected mask, and then he gets controlled with a Krana, and now he's got his mask knocked off, and he's helpless, and he, he, just, he just can't get a break, that guy. Alright, anyway, let's start building it. Actually, I'm sure most of the Toa get their masks knocked off, it seems like, and judging by the order of things, like with the, the warriors, um like posted outside of the gates of the ancient city. I'm sure probably Kopaka is the first to get his mask knocked off. I don't think Liwa is going to be the first one, but who knows? I guess we'll find out. Anyway, I know nothing. I don't claim to know anything. I should just stop talking and start building. Okay, so I'm building this in a way that is kind of backwards. I'm building the legs on to the body and uh, from the top down when it tells you to build it from the bottom up, but uh, 
I don't have to play by your rules. You're not my dad. Okay, we got no asymmetrical legs like on uh, Warrior. Confirmation, it's just in. The legs are indeed the same. Hmm. He also has, like, some uh, little things. He's got, like, uh, ankle supports. What? Well, not ankle supports. I guess, like, heel supports. Is he really that top-heavy? Does he need these? I guess we'll find out. But, yeah. Got these little things on the back of his feet. To help him stand. Oh, here we go again. Alright, so... I mentioned in the uh, Skull Warrior Let's Build that the most boring part was the gearbox. This guy has, you know, just basically your standard gearbox for the most part. I mean, you turn a thing and his arms swing. But he's got four arms, so it's actually a bit more interesting. So... Let's see how this works. Slide that through there, nothing different so far. Slide that through there like that. And then... You got this bigger gear. And that slides through there like that. Okay. Then, you take this piece, strangely enough, and you make something similar over on the other side, uh, except with a smaller Gear. <clears throat> yes. That is the word I was looking for. Gear. Okay. Wanna sort of line those up. Yeah, I'm like that. Okay. Now, we're going to take one of these pieces. Take another bigger gear. And this is interesting. It tells you to put this through and then attach this piece. But it kind of does it in a weird way. We'll actually show the instructions here. I don't know. It's like, just sit that in there and then put this through and then attach them together. I don't know, there's something weird about that to me. <clears throat> Alright, next. Just got a little frictiony piece. Oh, I see what's going on here. Okay. Then, that goes on there. And that goes on there. And then, you slide this through. And these actually connect, like that. So when you spin one of the arms, the arms kind of go all over the place. <laughs> and we'll see how that We'll see how that works once it's all together. But from here, seems to be basically the same as we are used to seeing. There you go. That's kind of neat. I like that. And that uh, just goes on the back here. Yeah, again, another weird, like, the... Why? Why these cryptic, useless half pins? I don't... I do not understand that at all. I'd real. I honestly would really like an explanation. Like, the designers of this set should just be like, this is why. This is why there are these extra half pins just sitting there. I mean, they seem to have, like, zero significance, so I don't understand. But, there we go, they're head on. Head on. Apply directly to the forehead. Head on. Okay, that was, that was too easy. I'm sorry. I, I suppose <clears throat> that didn't offend anybody who doesn't know what I'm talking about, so... I'm in the clear. Just drop that. You know what? Motor skills are failing. It's fine. We're only two sets in. It's probably not a not telling of anything. 
Although I do wonder how will be as far as morale goes by the <laughs> the fifth set. Yeah, four arms here. Oh, that is all kinds of crazy. Booga, 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 booga. Like, the top arms go in different directions, but, like, the bottom arms go in the same directions. It's like fist bumping himself. That's interesting. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how I like that. I'll have to play around with that a little bit before I decide. Okie dokie. Now, this arm... Get some kind of shoulder pad here. And then this arm just gets a little spikety thing. Just like that. Then put on the cool looking rib cage piece. Give him his chest plate, which I actually didn't really talk about all that much. I think it looks super weird. I really like uh, Skull Warriors. I thought that looked super coherent, but this one is again kind of all over the place. Although I guess he's got like a like a bone necklace thing going on here, and like a I don't know what that is. It's like a heart light? I mean, like a a pit in his chest that eats things. I don't know. It's weird. It's weird stuff, man. Don't know if I can handle it. Is that it? Like, that's his legs. His legs are just... Okay. I guess it matches, like, his bottom arms, but it seems a little bare bones. <laughs> uh, I guess he's a skeleton. Doesn't matter. Okay. Now he's got this little claw-looking thing. I feel like they could have made this orange, too. That would have been... That would have been good. But you got this cool, like, orange chain. I'm sure this has been in another set before. Right? An orange chain? Is this new? I don't think so. Maybe. Somebody will surely tell me. It's actually got, like, a knot in it. <laughs> it's never happened before. Lego chain has never had a knot in it out of the box for me. And so you're supposed to put it on this way. Yeah, and I guess he whips this around and grabs grabs masks with it. And he holds it with this thing. Simple enough, I suppose. And then, he's got all these, all these swords. And I believe you're actually meant to have him hold them like this. I guess this is sort of the blade and like it's got a hook thing to grab masks with it. He's got three of these things, which is all kinds of chaos. It's gonna be flying all over the place. <laughs> it's kind of gangly. I don't know. Like I, I do kind of like the look of him. He's certainly interesting. Again, I think it's weird that he just has a skull spider mask, but oh well. Let's bring the camera up. And actually, let's. Uh, I don't usually do this in the in the let's build, but let's do kind of a quick demo of his uh, of his action function, action feature. <laughs> That's just crazy. I, I don't I don't know. It's just it's kind of funny <laughs> to me. His arms just going all over the place in every which way. I don't know. He looks neat. I guess he kind of does need these little heel spur things because uh, he's sort of top heavy. But, uh, yep, there you go. Here are all the extra parts, if you were wondering. Let me drop one of those on the ground, but there you go. Not too many. Of course, you got the uh, drained Liwa mask there. And for one last shot, let's bring back in the box. Move his sore out of the way, so he's not covering his own face. And there you go. So that is about it, guys, and this is IX Roll at IX, signing off.